So, welcome back. New day, new progress, I would say. I have the I have the setup for the threaded rod um, in the upside down configuration done. Uh, this here is the upper motor mount for the stepper. And um, I actually need a 53 millimeter threaded rod and uh, as luck has it, um, I have a 50 millimeter threaded rod and a 40 millimeter threaded rod. Oh, let's get that off of there. But I also have a uh, whole meter of threaded rod and I cut that to 53 centimeters and yeah, I'm just getting that finished. So, I also exchanged the slider bars. So, um, the Z axis slider is now 45 millimeters, and the X axis slider is now 47 centimeters. Did I just say millimeters all the time? Yeah, it's uh, most of the time it appears to be centimeters. So, 47 centimeters and uh, now this goes over the end of here, which it was supposed to um, The one down here is 45 um, That's correct too and that one is also 45 centimeters and the threaded rods need to be 53 centimeters All right um this here is the end of the uh, z-axis threaded rod for the for the 3d printer what i did was i machined um, this to be five millimeters so i can use one of these bearings and um, now this fits on here perfectly so I can have some load from the uh, threaded rod on the bearing and on the lower side of the machine uh, reducing any type of flax or black backlash that I might be having. And um, yeah, that went really simple but it appears to be really effective. And now I'm gonna put the threaded rod into the machine and see what type of adapter I have to make to have it move the z-axis. So here we are. Uh, it looks really, f it looks amazing, to be honest. Um, this part down here is actually sitting on the screw right now. I'm gonna build something um, that I can put right on top of here, so it'll sit down on top of that. But it's already so strong. Um, it, it just won't give. Also, the bearing is working r real well. That is um, that was a good idea. I do have everything set up. I need to make the the part that's gonna hold this in place. Uh, and when I have it, it's not gonna be too much work to get it on there. Also. Uh, the stepper is in place now. That's all very nice. And I think, yeah, I think when I'm done with that, um, I don't know, the, uh, the, the table, um, the bolt plate was supposed to arrive today, but it didn't, so I'll wait some more, but maybe it'll take a bit longer than expected. And, uh, yeah, the next thing that I'm thinking of is uh, what type of extruder I'm gonna put on here. I was thinking of a E3D Titan, um, but they're really hard to come by. Um, I don't know, I don't know why. I'd really like to have something like that on there. I wanna have an all-in-one 
important because I want to be able to print flexible things. Um, I might even make it interchangeable, uh, but that that is a bit more complicated. You need to think about that. Um, yeah, next order of business is um, get some cheap extruder, uh, get a controller board, and get it moving. Also, make the adapter to connect the Z-axis with the Z-axis lead screw. All right, last one for today. Behold, we have a working Z-axis. Uh, it took me quite a while to get this bit uh, really good. But this is 3D printed. Um, it's connected by two screws. One is holding it in place and it's just riding on the other one. Um, it's absolutely perfect. It's perfectly perpendicular. Um, it is very easy to turn. It's running perfectly. It's, well, no, it's done. So, now we've got a working x-axis, we have a working y-axis, and we've got a working z-axis. Um, next thing up is motors. And before I can do that, I'm gonna have to make these cables longer, which I hope is not gonna be too much of a hassle, because I really wanna do it right. But that's it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one. We got a lot done and uh, I think we can see movement soon. Well, uh, I think I hope we can see movement soon. Thank you very much for watching and bye bye.